हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑर्गेनाइजर एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी कवर सो मेनी ऑपरेशंस ऑन द ट्रांसपोर्ट रिक्वेस्ट यूजिंग ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑर्गेनाइजर एंड वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक एंड वी विल कवर फ्यू मोर ऑपरेशंस ऑन द ट्रांसपोर्ट रिक्वेस्ट यूजिंग ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑर्गेनाइजर and yes in the project depends upon the scenario you will use all these operation so our next operation is how we can add object to the transport request using transport organizer suppose there is a requirement suppose basis person is saying okay so we created the program for sum of two number division of two number subtraction of two number basis person is saying he or she want to re import these programs into quality so can you please send these objects again so what we will do we will create a transport request we will add the objects to this transport request we will release and the basis person will re import so how we can add the objects to the transport request this is our next operation so i will go to sc09 transaction code and i will create a workbench request i will go for create workbench request we will give proper description suppose read import of programs first program sum program subtraction program division program we'll go for save so this request number generated this is the sub task and the status is modifiable if the status is modifiable yes we can add the objects to the transport request so we'll simply put the cursor on the transport request how to add the object there is a include object button go for freely selected object choose this radio button go for okay now here here you have two ways you want to go by package way or you want to go by selected object way okay suppose sim we stored everything into the package okay so what we will do we'll simply put the package name whenever we will put the package name and go for execute it will show us all the objects available in that particular package now we want to go for program we want to include the program into the transport request so we expanded the program we will see what was the program for what was our first program okay z p r g division two numbers z p r g division two number this program so we'll put the cursor we'll go for this select button now we will simply include in the request now you can see if i will go to back so our program is the part of this transport request so we included this object into this transport request now suppose if i will go by other way if i will show you other way put the cursor go to include object button choose freely selected object now suppose you do not want to go by package way so just choose selected object radio button it will show you the various option which object you want to select so in our case currently program is there so i will select the program check box so what was our second program will go for this program division of two numbers will go for execute 
Now we will simply include the program into the request. We will add. If I will go for back, you can see second program is also the part of my transport request. Now, if I will go for third program, sum of two number, this is subtraction of two numbers. So we will simply, simply put the cursor on the transport request, include objects, freely selected object. Now it's your wish how you want to go. Suppose I will go for select object. I'll choose this checkbox, sorry. I will just save into the transport request. Now you can see all three programs are the part of this transport request. So we can simply release and ask the basis person to import this request into the quality. Suppose, anyways, this subtask has nothing. So there's no need to release the subtask. We'll simply release the main request. If you see the subtask is blank, nothing is there in the subtask. So we will simply, simply release. There is a release button. Now we can ask the basis person to just re-import or just import this request into the quality and all those programs will be available in the quality, will import to the quality. Now, I will just again now show you the version management. In the previous videos, we put so much stress on the version management. Now you will get more more idea. Now you can see we have one more version of these three object. If I will go for any of the program, suppose I will go for this program, ZPRG division of two numbers. You will see there, we will have one more version of the object now. Utilities, version, version management. Just see what was the request. 901738. 901738. Is this there? Yes. Now, if I will go for other program also, subtraction, utilities, version, version management. 901738. Now, if I will show you the third program, utilities, version, version management. You can see 901738. And I already told you whenever you are going for releasing of the request, yes, there will be a new version of the object. And in the previous video, we put so much stress that how you can check the version and how SAP is maintaining the versions 